Mike, 60, currently owns a $1 million home in Lipers Fork, Tennessee, where he primarily resides. The U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal Mike has added another home to his real estate portfolio. Mike purchased a 3,166-square-foot house for $700,000 on May 20, 2022. The Brick House, which is just minutes away from his many businesses in Colombia, boasts three bathrooms and a basement and appears to have a nook in the front. The Brick House also features a wood deck, detached carport, cabana, utility building, porch, and more amenities. The home is currently not for rent. The house is just minutes away from his shop, Columbia Motor Alley. Mike bought former Chevrolet dealership Columbia Motor Alley, which was built in 1948, in November 2017 for $400,000. The estimated value is $717,400, and the building is a massive 13,440 square feet. A source close to Mike previously told the U.S. Sun. It used to be a car restoration building, and then Mike Wolf bought it. He has employees who work on bicycles and more in the garage section. Mike has his cars and motorcycles here on display. He has motorcycles, bikes, cars, and antiques he finds on the show. There is also a merchandise shop that sells shirts, hats, oil cans, mugs, and more goods. There are also various vintage cars and motorcycles from Mike's personal collection on display, including a black Ford Model A, a red Porsche, a beige 1934 Ford Coupe, and an Indian motorcycle. Mike also hosts Columbia, coffee and cars in the spring, summer, and fall months. A second source told the U.S. Sun fans could expect to meet Mike at the garage during business hours, which are every Friday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The insider said, Mike tries to go to Columbia Motor Alley when it's open. He takes the time to talk to everyone who visits. The new house is also close to his restaurant. According to property records viewed by the U.S. Sun, Mike dropped $600,000 on the 976-square-foot property on September 15, 2022. The U.S. Sun previously reported the space will be a restaurant, as construction to the outside has been completed. The front of the restaurant has a wooden pergola with lights streaming from the beams. There are gray pavers under the pergola instead of concrete. The fire pit area also has pavers, and there is a brick bench for customers who want to sit around the fire. Opposite the brick fire pit are pavers that are elevated, which will be a stage for karaoke and performers. The outdoor area is lined with a black metal gate and brick planter boxes with shrubs. A source previously told the U.S. Sun, it's going to be a restaurant. They are going to sell pizza, soda, that kind of stuff. Construction workers are building a stage for karaoke, a fire pit and a pergola in front of the building. Also in Colombia, Mike rents out an apartment called Two Lanes Guest House. The U.S. Sun previously reported the American Pickers star charges $275 a night from Friday to Sunday and $200 a night from Monday to Thursday. During holidays, including Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's, the price is $425 a night. Additional fees include a $100 cleaning fee, $25 per person if more than two guests stay at the location, a 14.25% lodging tax, and a security deposit. The lodging features one bedroom with a king bed, a couch that pulls out a queen bed, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a washer and dryer. The space is filled with antiques picked by Mike himself. A description of the rental on the website reads, this is the first time that fans of American Pickers get to see pics from the show that Mike has pulled out of barns and sheds across America presented as decor. The entire one-bedroom loft is located above a bicycle shop inside a two-story brick building dating back to 1857. The loft measures about 1,100 square feet, which for Mike was the perfect size to showcase his own one-of-a-kind Americana style. Guests will appreciate how Mike has integrated items of different vintages and locales to create one cohesive look. The incorporation of natural pieces, like antlers and bison sculpture,
partner whale with the more industrial rusted picks. Intentionally placed vintage signs delineate and organize spaces like the hand-painted wooden sign outside the bedroom, which reads rooms for tourists, or the double-sided turquoise city cafe sign picked in Alabama and now hanging over the kitchen island. Mike said of the space on the website, there's so much to see and experience here. I wanted to create a space that allowed visitors to experience the charms of staying on Main Street in a small town. One of my favorite things is to look outside the 13-foot windows at the 1905 courthouse and hear the clock in the tower on top of it chime every hour. You can walk downstairs into the street and see the shopkeepers preparing to open for the day. You can even smell the biscuits and bacon puckets is cooking up for breakfast. After Mike's split from his ex-wife Jody in 2020, he purchased a home in Lipers Fork, Tennessee for $1,050,000. The 3,153-square-foot mansion boasts three bedrooms and three bathrooms and includes a detached garage for the collector to store his antiques. Mike also owns a house in Leclerc, Iowa for when he visits his hometown. The American Pickers star purchased the 3,168-square-foot building for $180,000 in 2004. The home is a two-story duplex with an apartment on the second floor. The first story is occupied by the business, the shameless chocoholic. There is also a 1548-square-foot basement. The building features two garages and a back patio with a wood deck. The home and patio area overlook stunning views of the Mississippi River, as Illinois could be seen in the distance. The house is just a five-minute walk to his store Antique Archaeology.